Okay, here we are, 1532 North 16th Street. So I always look at cars just to see. These look like decent cars. <laughs> um, those are the neighbors. Keeps their place nice over there. And there's an alley, which is nice for separation. Let's see, that house there looks like it could use some work. Um, further down. It's quiet. And I know every time I've been on this road, it's been quiet. So, yeah, let's zoom in on them again. Okay, all right, and then the super quiet neighbors. This has a lot to do with why it's quiet. <clears throat> so, okay, let's go in. Here, I'll go behind the house too. Give me a look at what's going on back here. <clears throat> There's a neighbor's backyard. Give it a, a B minus. Not bad, not bad. Okay, and there's the two guard garage, which is access from the alley. And then a little extra separation. Look, a little squirrel. Okay, uh, oh, okay. And then that would be like a duplex, I assume. The alley, people seem to keep their stuff clean. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I like I like this spot. I mean, when you're considering price, that's something to keep in mind is that big tree that's leaning directly over top the house. So this is the house. Um, yeah. That's everything seems to be in good shape back here. See the window unit is cut into the wall over here as well. Okay, there's some imperfections in the siding. Yeah, and there they use some of that spray foam. I don't know what that's for. I don't know. <laughs> All right, and that would be a cellar down there, which I do not have a key for it, so. Okay. I guess that would be something that would come up in an inspection. Okay. So, all in all, I like this. This whole backyard is nice. I can see college kids hanging out there, and it's all private. Hmm. All right, let's make our way into the house. The roof looks to be fairly new. And looks to be in decent shape to me from where I stand. Okay. Making our way into the house. All right. Yeah, I've been in here. Okay, straight ahead, we've got the coat closet. That'd be the living room. Here's a sleeping room, sleeping area. We've got a bedroom. Closet. This is up towards the front. Vinyl windows, so those are newer windows. All right, and then second bedroom. The doors, they have these uh, double dutch doors that they've made out of normal doors. So, um, 
Okay. So, um, so yeah, an old house like this in Lafayette, it's been added on to multiple times. It was probably built in the Depression era. So the floors are going to be sloping a bit, you know. It's just structurally, structurally it's fine. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. Um, but just know that the floors are going to be uneven. Um, like here, you know, I can feel it slope down. But, but anyway, so this would be your kitchen, dining room area. Actually, back there would be the kitchen. So, let's see. Yeah, cool. Huh. I, I love the do-it-yourself attitude. Yep. Okay. Let's take a look in there. So, that's what the cabinets are going to look like. This pulls out. It's a big drawer. Underneath there. It's not a bad sink. Okay. And then that would be where the refrigerator would go. Nope, that's where the oven would go. So oven goes there, I'm assuming refrigerator maybe here. Yeah, washer dryer. These cabinets. And then this is your back deck. Where you come off there to that deck that we saw. Okay. So, that's pretty much all she wrote. Um, yeah. Right? Or what am I missing? A bathroom. That's right. Bathroom. Cool. Let's see. I hope my camera works not making you sick. I'll say this, you could do a lot worse for $100,000. Um, okay. And then that's an extra closet, you know, pantry. What do we got here? 